Good morning. I would like to welcome everyone seated here to the first assembly for the academic year 2023-2024. All are to rise for the school prayer led by the Yasha of grade 7. O oh dear Good Shepherd, make our school a home away from our home. Make us always feel that we all belong to a family and that the teachers are like our parents. We believe that you speak through them when we listen to them. Give more wisdom to all concerned with us so that they may guide us always on the right path. Make us know your presence and power by rewarding and punishing us. Let us not become proud when we are rewarded and let us not become humiliated when you punish us for our mistakes. Give us enough strength to forget and forgive as you forgive us our sins. We thank you for the showers of blessings on this school for its growth and progress into a big and good school. Give us everything to make our lives in this school a happy one. This we ask for your love's sake. Amen. I request everyone to remain standing for the school song. Please be seated.
Rajvi Chordia of Grade 10 will update us on the current state of affairs. A very good morning to everyone present here. The news is as follows. International news. Heat wave in Europe. Grease fires persist, causing mass evacuation. 30,000 people have been evacuated according to the Greek fire service. The fire, which occurred on the Greek island of Rhodes, caused damage to an unconfirmed number of houses and three hotels. The effort to stop these fires have been immense, with 173 firefighters, five helicopters, and even private boats joining into the effort. The fires were caused due to soaring high temperatures of 45 degrees Celsius, one of the highest ever recorded in Greece. Russia fires nuclear-capable caliber missiles at Ukraine, termed revenge strikes by the Kremlin. Russia fires missiles on the Ukrainian city of Odessa, killing at least one and injuring 19. Rescue efforts continue to find people in the rubble. The missiles also destroyed religious murals at the Transfiguration Cathedral, a 200-year-old and extremely significant structure for Ukraine. National News. Tribal groups protest against Manipur mob sexual assault. Thousands of tribals, mostly women, have staged a massive sit-in protest in Manipur, demanding the arrest of the mobsters involved in the sexual assault of two women. The protesters blame the BJP for not being able to stop the violence in northeastern states. India hands over warship to Vietnam. India gifted a fully operational warship to Vietnam recently. This is the first time India has gifted such a warship to any other country. The gift is a step aimed at deepening defense ties with Vietnam. State news. Tamil Nadu cabinet clears investments worth Rs. 6,000 crore. The Tamil Nadu cabinet on Saturday cleared 10 investment proposals in diverse sectors, including EVs and GCCs, or Global Capability Centers, worth Rs. 6,000 crore. These investments are aimed at providing job opportunities for up to 27,000 people. Sports news. Lionel Messi scores winner on Inter-Miami debut in an action-packed game. Lionel Messi scored a stunning free kick in the 94th minute to give Inter-Miami the win over Cruz Azul 2-1. Virat Kohli scores 121 in his 500th international match against West Indies to equal Sir Don Bradman's record. Virat Kohli scored 121 of 206 balls against West Indies to end his five-year dry spell for an overseas test century. This century also brings him up to 29 test centuries, equaling Sir Don Bradman's record of the same. Thank you and have a pleasant day ahead. I call upon Abraham Jacob of Grade 11 to deliver the assembly speech. Good morning to all present here. I welcome you back to Good Shepherd International School, our home away from home. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Dr. Madhav Deo Saraswat, our new principal, who was awarded a doctorate in Hindi by the Baba Saheb Bhimrao Ambedkar University. You're curious as to whether I took my time practicing that, then <laughs> yes, that was quite a long name for your university, sir, but I practiced it to make sure, you know, it was perfect. Um, he has three decades of experience in teaching academic administration, team building, and community development programs. We are confident that his extensive knowledge and experience will aid us on our journey to greater heights. Sir, we warmly welcome you to GSIS. Now, of course, I can't forget the other new Shepherdians, and so we welcome the new teachers, students, coaches, and each time we are introduced to new people, it gives us the opportunity to learn, adapt, and grow. New students, you have entered an environment which will prepare you for independent thinking as a future citizen of not your country, but the world. Susie Kassem, an evolutionary thinker and creative artist known to have built bridges between the Western and Eastern civilizations, once said, the world citizen is a small leaf on the giant tree of life. They do not see a difference between the branch they were born on 
and the remaining branches on the tree because they understand well that we are all connected to the same roots. The world citizen sees each section of the world as part of their arms, legs, eyes, and heart. They do not class, contain, or separate themselves or their identity by their ethnicity or their religion. The world citizen simply replies, my heart. I believe in three words, three values which my parents have instilled in me. Awareness, transparency, gratitude. These values are what I believe constitutes a global citizen. Someone who can take responsibility for their actions and achieve their goals for their good and the greater good of society. The awareness of global and local situations around us transparency in our work and transparency with other people who we work with. Gratitude for the fact that people are living much tougher lives than us and that we can move forward in life because of them. Two years ago, when I was a new kid, a new set of words were added to my dictionary. Truth, trust, triumph. I have come to believe in these words in my time in this community. And as shepherdians, we must attempt to imbibe these words in, in our lives. New students and old students at GSIS, wherever you are, keep those words in mind and try to adhere to them. Have confidence in yourself. Take up the challenge and conduct yourself professionally. Finally, be proud to be a student of Good Shepherd International School. Thank you all for your time. And once again, welcome back to GSIS. Thank you, Abraham. I request Dr. Madhav Deo Saraswat, our principal, to address the school. Good morning, you all present here. Abraham, thank you for welcoming me. Thank you for giving me six words. And please allow me to follow. I will come back to six words which Abraham has used for all of us today. But before that, let me talk what I have prepared for myself for the entire community. Honorable President, Mr. Jacob Thomas. Honorable Senior Vice President, Ms. Sarah Jacob. Esteemed staff of GSIS, which includes not only teachers, but also the people who look after you and us day and night. <clears throat> and most importantly, all of you, my dear students, we are because you are. We are here today because you are here with us. So our entire existence is around you. And all this creation and all the people around you are because of you and for you. With this, I extend a warm welcome to each one of you as we gather here today to mark the beginning of a new academic year, 2023 and 2024. I also extend a very warm welcome to our new students. It seems that we have got 167, which is roughly 25% of our student population as new family members 
and around 20 teachers in our mess. Why I am uh, giving this number? Because it matters. For our returning students, welcome back. I trust you had a fulfilling summer break and are prepared for the adventures of the new academic year. To those stepping onto our campus for the first time, you have entered a vibrant, challenging, and loving community. Please be rest assured that you will get every possible opportunity to thrive and grow. Your presence here makes the day even more special, and I'm delighted to see the enthusiasm and excitement in the air as we embark on this educational journey together. Today is the first time for me to address you in a formal school ceremony, and I would like to begin with a brief self-introduction, though Abraham was kind enough to share a few things. But before that, before I introduce myself, I want all of you to know that I feel deeply honored and privileged to have been appointed as the principal and director of this wonderful school called PSIS. My full, my name is Madhav Saraswat. Middle name is Deo, which is D-E-O. It's not D-E-V, it's D-E-O, Madhav Deo Saraswat. I was born and brought up in Agra, which is known for Taj Mahal, and it's in a state called Uttar Pradesh. I started my teaching career shortly after graduating from University of Agra, Bhim Rao Ambedkar, even I don't remember that name, in 1987. Good Shepherd is broadly and practically my fifth workstation. Initial 16 years of teaching were spent in Dehradun in a school called Dehradun School. After that, I took up the mantle of becoming a principal uh, of a residential school. And in the same company, they promoted me to become the CEO. So for 10 years, I was in Nashik, initially as principal, and after that as CEO for the same organization. After working in Nashik for 10 years, I went back to school education uh, as principal of Sindhya School Gwalior. It's an all boys boarding school. And after completing seven years in Gwalior, I came to Hyderabad for a year, and I was principal there as Hyderabad Public School, Begum Pet. Now, with all of you. Till date, for me, and I want all of you to listen to what I'm going to say right now that till date, GSIS has been your school. But today I want you to accept me as your family member and please allow me to call GSIS as I school. Because I'm excited here to be with all of you today and ready to contribute to our growth and development. As we begin this academic year, I'm delighted to share with you the promising results of previous year's board examinations for ISC, ICSC, IB, Checkpoint, TCL Practical Theory Examinations, TCL Speech, and Drama. While we celebrate the achievements of our students and teachers, let's also remember that continuous improvement is essential. I take this opportunity to 
compliment and congratulate to the hardworking team of teachers and students for their dedication and commitment. However, please also allow me to say something more. When we talk, we show disrespect. And when we show disrespect, we should not expect respect. Human relationships are like this. Everything is based on investment. So on the academic achievements, I wanted to say something. And that is for the entire community. There is a need to seriously review our approach, mindset, and processes for better performance. There is an imperative need to understand and appreciate the core objective of being together in this beautifully and purposefully built campus. In any given situation and for any reason, we cannot lose sight of our main focus area which is excellent academic performance supported by excelling in all the areas of our engagement. In the coming months, we have several significant activities and events lined up for this term, such as weekend outings, midterm assessments, Founders Day celebrations, Trinity speech, drama examinations, Good Shepherd model, United Nations, and more. These events offer ample opportunities for you to showcase your talents, skills, and passions. I encourage all of you to participate actively and immense yourselves in all aspects of school life. Now it will be our conscious choice that we emerge with mediocrity, or we decide to excel. Your access to the best faculty, facilities, and resources, and library is unparalleled. Utilize these opportunities to become well-rounded individuals and achieve your academic and personal goals. Responsibility and accountability are vital for our learning journey. Manage your time efficiently to classwork, tuition, prep, or boarding house activities. Respect timeliness and academic deadlines, as punctuality and integrity will serve you well in life. Take charge of your lives responsibly. The school believes in nurturing responsible and independent individuals. Seek guidance from counselors and coordinators whenever needed as they are here to support you on your journey. Safety and security are paramount. Please be mindful of your actions as careless or reckless behavior can endanger your well-being and that of others. Academic excellence demands smart planning, adherence to a routine, respect for time, meeting deadlines, along with upholding academic integrity. And please don't forget, continue reminding yourself all the time that learning is a two-way process. Learning is a two-way process. Your teachers, your facilitators, mentors can teach you and try to make you understand what they cannot learn for you. So 
the learning has to be done by the students. Responsibility of learning, backed by good performance, is solely and solely your responsibility. Do not commit the blunder of presuming that it can be delegated. We have seen some consequences of such an attitude in the immediate past. I'm sure nobody would like to repeat the same mistake. I would also request you to please keep in mind all the time that not adhering to the deadlines or guidelines meant, which are meant for your good and for your growth is disregarding the efforts of your teachers and aspirations of your parents. In simple words, it is called lack of respect for the adults around. Simply showing disrespect. I wonder if we really wish to do that to our wonderful teachers and to our parents. Let's be respectful. And there is only one way. Do what you are supposed to be doing. Imagine a community with mutual respect or without mutual respect. Let's foster mutual respect within our diverse community. And that brings me to the communication, that how do we communicate amongst ourselves. So I have a request to make, and this request is for all, irrespective of your role, age, or responsibility. Let's also embrace English as a lingua franca, so that we can promote oneness and effective communication with understanding. The school management constantly endeavors to enhance your growth and development by adding more facilities and resources. You must have noticed the new infrastructure, better facilities in many of the places. Please show respect to these facilities by judicious users. Let's welcome this academic year with curiosity, dedication, integrity, and perseverance. And together, let us create a supportive and inclusive community where each one thrives and realizes their potential. While I extend my heartfelt best wishes for a successful and fruitful academic year to each one of us, I would request to all the students to look after your new friends, your dormmates, classmates, help them to settle down as soon as possible. And then Abraham to those six words. Let's ask ourselves, when we talk about truth, trust, and triumph, these words are not for speeches. These three words are for understanding for ourselves. So every morning, if we could ask ourselves that how truthful we are with ourselves. If we are truthful with ourselves, then there will not be any difficulty in being truthful with the community around us. Are we making enough effort to be trustworthy. 
we cannot be trustworthy if we are not truthful because there has to be transparency. So for the trust, truth is the first prerequisite and the truthfulness with our own selves. And then the triumph. Triumph not in any other way, in any other manner, but triumph over our own weaknesses and limitations. Be aware, be transparent, and let's live a life of gratitude. And the first and foremost, gratitude, sense of gratitude should be towards your parents, and second is your teachers. With this, may we have a rewarding and enriching experience at GSIS. God bless us all. Thank you very much for welcoming me. Thank you, sir, for your insightful words. All are to rise for the school anthem, followed by the national anthem.